welcome back to another video i know i said i wasn't gonna <coughs> probably do one till the new year but here i am doing another one working in between so unfortunately for this industry it doesn't stop we have to everything has to kind of keep going so with this one we've got a engine malfunction we've got an engine deray and we have soot level high on the dash so i've had a few people say they've had trucks with soot, uh, soot levels high and everything like that so this one on the dash uh, in the system has a engine protection function and that's in red. So I don't know if you can see in there, it's red, which means it's like a power limiting. So we also have DPF filter, the differential pressure is not allowed and the particulate filter efficiency is below threshold. So we also, have a few knock sensor faults which I'll sort later but to me it says sounds like the, the soot filter level's high so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to pull off the offside drop wing I'm going to pull the cover off and then we're going to have a look at that behind that and see if it isn't like totally blocked because I have said in a few videos before about them blocking up so we've had quite a few issues with them so let's um I'll leave that I ain't going to delete no codes let's get the cover off let's have a look beyond the dpf and see what we can find beyond there also what i was going to say about it is <clears throat> yes i could the soot filter level on it is near the top yeah okay i could just do a regen and it'll probably be fine but for me for the sake of 10 15 minutes just to pull the um drop wing off and then pull the cover off i think it's worth just doing it just to have a look at that the, the dpf filter so let's get cracking and get that off and have a proper look at it This one isn't bad. We're all good in there, a little bit of in there, but overall we're pretty good. Normally these literally fill up to about here. So all I'll do with this is put a new gasket on, put the wing rack on, and then I'll give it a, re, a, a force regen. But like I say, for the sake of what it's took me five, ten minutes just to check. Sometimes they say they're full and they get regen and they're actually like proper stacked out. So we all know that's good. Now we'll give it a force regen and hopefully we should be good. We'll clear all the faults, give it a road test and then we should be all good with that. So let's get it all back together. So 
So yeah, there we had soot fit at high. So what I'm gonna do is, there we go, that's popping up back up again. If you, if you drive a daff, you know that fucking noise. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a force regen. I'll try and show you the best I can with the gel test, I'll do that. We'll give it a regen, we'll give it a road test, and then we'll go from there and see how we get on with it. So there, so basically we're gonna go into the engine, engine ECU. Um, sorry, not engine ECU, exhaust gas treatment system. So we're gonna go into that first. And we're going to go to particulate fit regeneration with vehicle stopped. And then I'm going to put my expert code in and I'll come back to you. So when you do these kind of regenerations, like you'll have to, you'll have criteria that you have to meet. So I'll quickly show you. If it does it. So there we have to obviously not be moving, part brake on. And it has to be idling. Um, don't touch the brake pedal. Don't touch the accelerator pedal. Temperature's got to be at 28, uh, it's got to be up to 60 degrees. So if you look here, 60, 140 Fahrenheit and less than 120 degrees, 248 Fahrenheit. Um, we also need to have the switch. So basically not trying to regen it using the switch and then soot content isn't normal because it's coming up high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out its temperature what it needs to be and then I'll come back to you on it. So there we are all the ticks if we look here we're all clear so I'm gonna click the tick button and then we'll start regeneration there should be like a little puff light on uh, it might not come on this one um, normally in the here once it gets hot It'd be like a little exhaust emissions lot, which will look similar to that. So that will go on and that will be that. You end up a lot of the time having, once the regeneration is done, don't think it's still faulty because sometimes you'll get a little puff light here and that'll basically say that the exhaust is hot, be careful. So I'm gonna let this regenerate itself. There's no point in me recording this. So we'll get it regened and we'll give it a road test and we'll go from there and make sure it's all good. So just a little update, uh, there are the faults that came on that we're dealing with and there's that little light I told you about, just there, just to say that you're carrying out a regen. So yeah, if we go back into the menu, so there's all our <coughs> faults we've got, the warnings. And there is it regenerating. So, probably takes between half hour and 40 minutes. So, we'll just go and do something else or wait for it to regen and then we'll come back to it when we're near and towards the end. So, a little further update here still regenerating. Temperatures are. Let's uh, go down a little bit. Fucking up. So, yeah, there's that little light I told you about. Just here. So last little bit now, wait for that to get done and then uh, we'll road test it and then we should be all good hopefully. So that's regen done, all done on there. If we look, there's no, if we go back I'll start from the beginning and show you. So if we look in at service and warnings, nothing there, can't click on it. No warnings on the dash, so that's cleared all that fault. That little light there is just to say it's hot, so don't fucking burn your legs or don't touch the exhaust. Why well, you would, I wouldn't, no idea, but unless you're fucking stupid. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, I showed you the taking off of the uh, exhaust cover and the drop wing because sometimes you we have problems where they'll come up with soot level high to regen it, and then you regen it, and then a couple of days later it'll do it again because there's because it's full up in the DPF so that's why um, you know for the sake of just checking it pulling off the um, drop wing and the exhaust cover just have a quick look and make sure it's not blocked you know because you don't want to be wasting your time regenerating it and then find out you've got to do that anyway so yeah but that shows you that little so once I'll, I'll find some pictures if I can of one that we've had um, that's full to show you what they can be like but that's the process we do with regening I know it's quite a simple and shortish video to um, to do, but I just thought I'd, um, whenever I get a chance to film something for you, I'll, I'll try and do it. So, 
yeah, that's that all done. I'll give it a quick road test and then we should be all good. So that's the road test all done. No problems, pull's fine. Uh, the soot filter level hasn't gone up at all. No engine warning lights or nothing like that, so we should be all good now. Uh, still showing up as the, the little puff light's hot, but it will do because I've just blasted the road and, and whatnot. But yeah, that's another job done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, obviously, I'll try to show you as much as I can. Next time I get one with um, a soot footer this full, I can show you a bit better. I'll try and add some pictures in here. Uh, maybe towards the end of one that's one that's full up. So that's a basic of how to do a regen uh, and the fault finding and everything like that. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for carrying on subscribing and uh, liking the videos and commenting. And you know it means a lot. And the channel is growing and growing and growing uh, over the last few weeks, which is really good. It's nice to look at it and see it growing. You know, um, which I'd like it to do. So. Like I say, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all had a great Christmas. I hope you all have a fantastic new year. And I look forward to seeing you all in 2022 when we're going to go and smash it again. Take care.